Hi, my name is Joshua Chipwejo Fabiri. I'm 17 years old and I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. The name of my initiative is called TechBlog IT. Um, TechBlog IT's goal is to reduce the digital gap by providing um, free or very low cost or high quality um, tech and STEM classes to people who won't have access to it. At TechPlug, we noticed the problem. We noticed that um, a lot of people don't have, may have interest in IT and STEM related courses and fields, but because of their income, the income, their income or their parents' income, they may not be able to have access to these trainings. So TechPlug IT aims to solve this by providing those trainings, but making sure that it's very extremely relevant, the quality is amazing, but everyone has access to it, no matter where they are, their background or where they're coming from. So I really think that we have made an impact, especially in the few hundred people we've reached. Um, we've got, we have a lot of feedback and positive testimonials about people who got deepened interest or got access to opportunities or got found a way to make income for themselves through this. So um, the goal is to not just reach a lot of people, but also that everyone we reach also becomes a change maker themselves. So um, we call it adopt because adoption really just brings around the um, thoughts of really taking responsibility about something and also empathy. So um, there are three phases to the idea. The phase one is us actually just going to schools. We already have a couple of partner schools, both private and public, and we want to go to these schools and teach their students for a, a period of time about coding, STEM, and all that. But in the process, also really teach them about change making and what they can, how they can use their newfound knowledge to really make impacts around them. And um, on a larger scale, which is phase two, um, we are actually trying to get large corporations, banks, telecommunication companies, and m much, much large, bigger companies to adopt, this, uh, adopt schools in their vicinity. So obviously this helps us reach a larger number of schools, while our team also just comes and also teaches the students about change making. And on the phase three, the largest scale is just going past schools and partnering with NGOs and different bodies around Nigeria and beyond to also adopt school, uh, adopt people. So we want to use these NGOs to get access to people we won't have access to. For example, we're partnering with a um, prisoner rehabilitation NGO to reach prisoners around Nigeria and really imbibe, not just this, you help them use this STEM and IT so when they get out of prison, there's something they can use to sustain themselves and they don't have to fall back to shady things while also propagating that change-making ideology. So not only are they helping themselves, but they have the knowledge and capability to help the people around them. Okay, okay, I really think the most important thing is to just start. Everyone has an idea and everyone has noticed problems. But you can't always keep telling yourself, I'll do it when I grow up or I'll do it when I'm wealthy or later on. I think the most important thing is just to, at any scale you have the capacity to do, just start. Just find a problem that you can solve and even if it's just in your family or just in your community, on a larger scale, whatever you can, just start doing something. Okay, everyone should really be a change maker because um, a single person can make impact, but permanent impacts is something that everyone has to decide to make, at least I believe so.